Have you ever heard of the five solas of the Reformation? Sola is the Latin word that means only or alone. And the early reformers came up with five statements focused on the word sola that would distinguish their teachings from that of Rome. Sola Scriptura, Scripture alone. Solus Christus, Christ alone. Sola Fide, Faith alone. Sola Gratia, Grace alone. And finally, Soli Deo Gloria, Glory to God alone. These evangelical faith statements soon became a rallying cry of the movement that transformed the map of Europe, both religiously and politically speaking. Not to be left out, the Roman Catholics came up with their own rallying cries, not surprisingly also in Latin. One of their most popular catchphrases was extra ecclesiam nulla salus est. There is no salvation outside the church. Sadly, those theological statements that require nuanced explanations and serious study were soon placed on banners and carried into the bloody battles of destructive religious wars that plagued the European continent in the 16th and 17th century. Today, in the Western Hemisphere, we no longer fight our wars under religious banners. We believe that we have evolved past such tribal divisions and conflicts. But allow me to challenge our sense of superiority and ask what signs are in your yard these days? What kind of bumper stickers do you see everywhere 65 days before the election day? What t-shirts, baseball hats, and other merchandise do we purchase to support our candidate or our side? Are we truly that different from our 16th and 17th century ancestors marching into battles under the Sola Gratia banners? With this context in mind, let us hear again the words of Jesus from today's Gospel. Nothing that enters one from the outside can defile a person, but it's, it is things that come out from within that defile. Mark 7.15 All the banners, bumper stickers, t-shirts, and other labels do not make us a good person or an evil one. It is about what's in your heart, what's within us that gives moral value to our lives. You may be a Protestant or Catholic, MAGA or left-wing Democrat, but you must remember that banner or label does not define you. It perpetuates our tribal and very artificial divisions, but it does not make you a better, moral or more ethical person. It's not about the sign that you carry to a political or religious rally, but it is about what you carry within you, in your heart. We all know that the most popular, most translated book in the world is the Bible. But do you know what book is in second place? A tiny little children's book titled the Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. The story follows young prince who visits various planets, including Earth, and addresses themes of loneliness, friendship, love, and loss. Despite its style as a children's book, the Little Prince makes truly profound observations about life and human nature. In that book, a talking fox tries to teach the little prince how to understand people, how to read them. At one point, that fox says, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly. 
What is essential is invisible to the eye. All those banners that people used to fight under and sadly still do are not essential to who we are as the people of God. All the yard signs and bumper stickers that proudly proclaim our political allegiance are not essential to who we are as Americans. Because when you want to truly know someone, look within your heart. Because it's only with the heart that one can see rightly. Look deeply into that person's soul, beyond all the labels and banners, and see who they are on the inside. Jesus put it in another way, but I think that both the facts and Jesus got it right. It's not the things on the outside that define who we are, but it is what lives in our hearts, within our souls, that matter much more than all the banners and labels. Amen. Thank you for spending these few minutes with me on your Labor Day weekend. Please don't be shy posting your thoughts and questions in the comment section. And if you like this reflection, click on the like symbol below and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, have a wonderful Labor Day weekend, and God bless you.